Tony always wanted the biggest of everything, the biggest piece of cake, the biggest bulla, the biggest apple, or the biggest mango. It was so annoying for his sister Pearl. She was older by two years, yet she always had to take the smallest of everything. She didn't like to complain. But after Tony took the biggest piece of potato pudding that their granny brought, she decided to teach him a lesson. Pearl had a plan. She had noticed that the Julie mango tree over Mars Pearl Yard was loaded with mangoes. Tony loved mangoes. He loved Julie mangoes the most. Mars Earl was always nice to Pearl because she bought him lotto tickets from the local shop each time she went there on Fridays. He was old and couldn't walk too far, but he still liked to buy a ticket every now and then. Pearl got up early on Saturday and went by Mass Earl's house. She kindly asked if she could choose some mangoes from his jewelry tree. He told her to take as many as she wanted. Pearl only wanted two to kick her plan into gear. She searched for the biggest mango she could reach on the tree. Pearl then selected one that was significantly smaller. They weren't ripe, so she wrapped them in old newspaper and hid them away for them to be ripe and ready. When Pearl checked the mangoes on Thursday, they were ready. Her mom had a bottle of bitters which she would force feed them a spoonful every month as a supplement. It tasted really bad but adults swore by it. Her mom was convinced this is why they hadn't caught a cold in months. Pearl took a new syringe from the box her granny used for her insulin, carefully extracted some bitters and plunged it into the biggest mango. There was only the smallest of a hole in the big jewelry. Hard to see with the naked eye. She knew Tony wouldn't notice. Pearl went outside with both mangoes to search for Tony. Tony saw her from afar with the mangoes and rushed forward and quickly grabbed the bigger one. He bit down quickly into the mango. Before Pearl could complain, Almost instantly, his mouth was filled with the bitter taste of the medicine. Yuck! A what kind of mango this man? Tony spat out the mouthful of mango and stared at the hole filled with dark colored liquid. Pearl started laughing and laughing. She laughed so hard, she started rolling on the ground. You're too damn craven. Me no more to catch you. Tony looked at her, surprised, but understanding why she did it. After that, Tony was so scared to take the biggest and best all the time, he always asked permission. Always be content with what you have. Your season will come. See you next time on Healing Broken Hearts.